Kevin and I started Sustainable Surf because we saw a real need for the conversation about sustainability to be taking place within surf culture and the surfing industry. Before this, there was no one that was really focused on how do we make surfing and surf culture sustainable in and of itself. And we figured if we could get everyone talking about the same issue and getting that conversation started, we could get surfers and surfing pointed in the right direction to become part of the solution. Sustainable Surf has been grown by leaps and bounds since we first started back in 2011. We started off with a deep blue surfing event program for surfing contests. We've added a styrofoam recycling program. We're now verifying the use of greener chemistry and better materials for surfboards. And the sky's really the limit with where we're going. This last year was huge for us. We got a lot more press and we added some great new athlete ambassadors like Alex Gray, Greg Long, Rob Machado, Dave Wassel, who all help us tell the story of sustainability and surfing through a way more compelling lens. We started the Deep Blue Surfing event program back in 2011 as a challenge to ourselves and to professional surfing. Like, was it really possible to run a world tour level surfing event in a way that caused minimal environmental impact while also producing a positive benefit for the local community? Our relationship with Volcom started back in 2012 for the Fiji Pro. And we took what we learned there back to the Volcom Pipe Pro, and that's where we really raised the bar and were able to look at all the categories that we had in our standard. We met them and exceeded them. And what we learned at the Pipe Pro, we actually took to the US Open, to the Quick Pro in France, to the Triple Crown Series. And what's great to see is that this focus towards sustainability for surfing events has been growing and expanding and it's now taking on a life of its own. We all need to start working together so that this transformation happens a lot quicker because the issues and the problems that we actually face are that big, they're that important. And what we're trying to do is to catalyze that change. And the only way we can actually get this to go at the level of speed and the need is to actually get the industry to start working together and with us and with everyone else and to become an active player in this as opposed to a more passive one, which is how it's been. Sustainable Surf is focused on one big idea. It's to transform surf culture and everybody in it into a powerful force for protecting the ocean playground.